welcome back everybody. It's a new implement day here on the farm, so I'm gonna flip you around and show you what we got here. So I've made it a few years without a grapple, but we finally bit the bullet today and, and picked one up. I drive by a dealer on my way home every day, and uh, I saw these staring at me from the field. Sure enough, went over there, they had a whole bunch. I bought this one. This was the smallest one they had, and they only had one of them. This is a 48 inch iron craft uh, grapple. It's got one 2,500 PSI cylinder there. Uh, and yeah, it's just a real straightforward, affordable solution. At least we think it's gonna be a solution. I'm gonna put it through its paces today and see if it can do the kind of things that uh, we need it to do. So this thing only cost $1,600 and it's made right here in America. Uh, so I can see right off the bat, I just went to grab the grease gun but I realized there is nothing to really grease on here. There's no grease cirques on the cylinder. Uh, and these swivel points are just uh, through bolted. So you can maybe see some threads there. Uh, this top lid just rides on those threads. So I'll just keep an eye on things. This isn't gonna be an in-depth review by any means. It'll be my first few hours with it. And, and this is the first time I've used a grapple. So if something's real clunky, it probably won't make the footage, but um, once I get the hang of it, I'll put those clips in here. So far so good, those first two things I tried to pick up, no problem, time will tell. I was nervous about this thing not really having teeth up top here, or really on the bottom for that matter, but uh, this is not a small chunk of wood, and uh, no problem. It took me a couple tries to pick it up, but it's, uh, it's clamped in there. Forgot this camera was here. A few dozen pictures of me driving back and forth, but turned it off for the time being. I really couldn't ask for anything else. I mean, you see, this is a 36 inch uh, white pine stump, 35 inch, and it's about five feet long. Uh, it took me a few tries to grab onto it, but like I said, even without teeth up here, you'd expect something a little sharper, something to dig in, but that's actually rounded. But um, yeah, it's caught and uh, it's on there.
So I didn't have to cut anything out there. You really saw my first go at running a grapple. Uh, pretty straightforward. If you could run one of those carnival claw games, you could run one of these things. Uh, it's a lot of fun, to be honest with you. Um, this log thing, that's going to be our primary use here with this grapple. Uh, we made it this far without it, moving things around with pallet forks, but the stuff you saw me grabbing, I would have taken way longer with pallet forks, so I'm glad to have it. For those new to the channel, um, the reason I'm moving this wood from the middle of the field to the corner of the field, or the pine anyways, is because uh, my wife and I agreed to host an event with about 100 people, and the field is where people park. So I'm going to clean this up over the next three to four weeks, three weeks hopefully, and uh, make a nice pasture again. So you saw we can move wood, uh, as expected, I guess. Uh, a couple things I'll point out about this thing. So when I saw it at the dealer this morning, I noticed somewhere there's some, some rust on here already, just from sitting in a field. Um, so obviously at the $1,600 price point, you're not gonna have a world-class paint job, um, but this thing's gonna live probably in the woods somewhere or in a field, and it doesn't need to be world-class. People beat the snot out of these things. Um, and just a little bit of work, these teeth were pristine uh, an hour ago. Uh, now that the initial paint is chipped off of there. So just something to keep in mind. So this grapple, there's nothing in the back there. So again, this one's 48 inches. So I assume this is about a one foot opening and you can see everything. You can see my grill. Uh, if you're really getting into some brush, you're obviously in danger back there. Um, these hoses, they aren't factory, they're a little longer than I need them to be on, on our setup here. Um, but uh, I'll figure out a way to either be careful in perpetuity or, or tie those out of the way. Uh, what else can I say? So, oh, about the setup here, um, not super pertinent, but this is a Kubota L2501, 25 horse tractor. Uh, this thing's rated, I think they say, up to 40 horsepower tractor is what they feel safe putting them on. Um, and we've got the Land Pride third function uh, valve installed so that worked real slick take the little little bit of getting used to but nice neat setup and uh, we use it for our plowing snow in the winter we've we got the third function valve for the plow so really this was just a $1,600 hit this time around Thanks again for being subscribed everyone just started raining again so i'll wrap this up uh why we went with this grapple again uh it was a want and not a need we don't need this thing we're going to be just fine if we lose it or it falls in the pond uh it opens up 33 inches wide and i was able to wrap around that 36 inch uh, pine on the the narrow end of it so yeah that that's wide enough for anything that this tractor is going to be able to pick up anyways uh and we wanted to keep it short keep keep it short because it's cheaper and it's a it's a lighter implement so we're ultimately saving that lifting power for for lumber or rocks or whatever we want to lift so far so good we don't plan to get rid of this thing so i'll sure to follow up if anything goes haywire or if we fall in love with it even more but um that's all i got for today guys thanks again we'll see you at the next one